Hi, this is Tim. I'm just going to show how you can calculate in uh, in your export to Excel. Uh, this is actually rather simple, um, but it's a very well hidden feature of the software. So the first I want to do is I want to add a cost for all of these part files. And then I want to be able to calculate uh, using a formula. So let's start by adding some cost and I can do that using copy. And I created a very basic profile for this one, so it only carry a cost. So let's uh, type in seven and then just add that for all of the components. And it's going to prompt if you want to write this property. And yes, indeed, I want to. At this point, I now have an assembly uh, with a piston in it. And there is only a few parts that are unique. So everything is one and a few parts are two and three. So let's create an export for, for this one. Now, there are a few things that we need to do to make sure this is working. But let's start from the beginning. I will create a brand new export. Let's call it cost and just create an Excel report. For this one, we want to export to the source path. We want to use the source file name and maybe we want to add cost. So that is going to be the file name. For this export, we want to uh, add a few fields. So I will go for the SolidWorks property called part number. I will go for the SolidWorks property called quantity and I will go for the cost and tools attribute called cost. And then I want to add the calculation. So this is going to be a value and let's just call this total and hit OK. And then OK again. And then at this point we can run the export. So let's see what we got. We create the export. And we can see that uh, there are one predominantly and, and two and 10 and so on. So we want to multiply the quantity with the cost. But let's see what we get. So this is my Excel file. And what I want to do is I want to calculate so I want to multiply this with that and then insert it here. Now, one of the things uh, you need to do first is you, you need to make sure that your columns are ready for a number. And right now everything is defined as text. So I'll just make a mental note. In this case, for this spreadsheet, I have J, K and L. These are the columns where I want to have numbers present. So I, uh, I have that in my mind now, J, K, and L, and I will close the Excel file. Then I will open up the, uh, the options again. I will go into my export profile, select the cost, and then edit. Then I need to open up the template settings and download the Excel file. So let's just call this one costing and say save. We now downloaded this uh, export profile and then I can open my Excel file. The columns that I wanted to change are the J, K and L. Currently, these are set as text. I could set these as general or number. Once that is taken care of, I can save my template and close it. Then I can return to custom tools and I can upload to profile. So now I will select the costing that I downloaded, updated and saved. And then now I can upload that to the server. And OK. So these steps are required for 
the Excel file to accept these values. And we can now press OK. Now, this is where everything becomes a bit tricky, uh, but you can use uh, OpenAI or something similar to ask how you can format your string that goes into this value. So in this case, I want to calculate in the L K multiplied by J. So K multiplied by J. We need equal indirect K and then we need a row number dynamically because we cannot insert a static number because then we always calculate what is in row number two and we don't want that. So this is what we need, K and row, then multiplied by J and row, insert it into the value column. Now this is very complex, uh, but when, once you see it, it, it's pretty straightforward to be honest. So now we have taken care of that, let's do the export. We now do the cost export, we can see that the total column looks quite crazy, uh, but we are not inserting this. In fact, we are, but we are calculating uh, what we need. So let's export this one and see what we get. And as you can see, we can actually confirm that we calculated everything correctly. We have one and seven, so that is seven. 7 and 2 is 14, 7 and 10 is 70, so everything is calculated exactly how we need it. And obviously we can continue uh, on this string and just add more and more like, uh, like these calculations, but this is for solving the case that we have now. We want to calculate the cost by quantity and we can definitely do that using the indirect uh, form and a value in our export profile. Thank you for watching.